Good morning, everybody. Here we are. Um, Doc J here for our weekly health tip. And today, we're going to talk about vitamin D. Again, yes, how often do I talk about vitamin D for you, with you guys? A lot, because vitamin D is extremely important. Um, excuse me still waking up a little bit here this morning. Vitamin D is extremely important because as we've talked about it is an immune enhancing supplement. Right? Vitamin D has major links to immune system function so it can help you to be healthier, help you to fight off viruses, any and especially you know with the current situation going on here with COVID-19 it is important to get vitamin D. Vitamin D is manufactured in your body from sunlight exposure. So if you, you want to lay out in the sun and get all the nice hot warm sun and healthy sun exposure that you can, that's one way of making vitamin D in the body. The other way is taking vitamin D supplements. So while vitamin D is important for immune system function, it is also a vitamin that contains anti-cancer properties. So it's been shown to lower your risk for certain types of cancer, including colon cancer and uh, prostate cancer and things like that. Vitamin D is great for your bones and for your teeth, but now new research is showing that low levels of vitamin D are linked to opioid addiction. Yes, can you believe that? What they found in animal studies is that low levels of vitamin D, animals tended to crave opioids and then become addicted to them. So this, this finding is, is monumental in that it could be a possible treatment for opioid addiction. Um, can you imagine the impact? Vitamin D is, is, is so inexpensive, it's not even funny. And opioid addiction is, is, uh, is one of the biggest problems in our country right now because it's, um, you know, it affects so many people and the treatment for opioid addiction is hugely, hugely expensive. So they found in the animal studies that if um, they were able to raise the vitamin D levels up, they were able to curb cravings um, and have the animals not be addicted to, to the opioid. So that's really, really good. So vitamin D is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just another study showing how crucial this vitamin is in your, in your overall health and life. Um, as I said, vitamin D is manufactured from the sun. In the sun, it's a beautiful day today, so I will get my vitamin D through that. But in the fall and the winter time, um, you're not getting a lot of sun, so your vitamin D levels lower. So that's why supplementation is so important. And it's not just so important important to just take you know one vitamin D. You have to take the right amount for your body weight. And it's 35 units per pound of body weight. So typically in the winter time, I'm taking um, you know seven, eight thousand units a day for myself. So that's what you have to consider. And now in the summertime, you know, I do still take supplemental vitamin D, but I lower it down to 1,000 units a day because I do get a lot of sun exposure. I'm out in the yard, I'm on the boat, I'm fishing, you know, we're in the pool, we're at the beach. But I also, it's also important to remember you have to get healthy sun exposure. You know, you don't want to burn your skin. You can get, you need to get 20, I mean, you need to get at least 30 minutes of uh, healthy sun exposure, full body exposure. That means, like sitting right here in, the, in a shirt, you know, in pants, you're not getting full body exposure. You have to be in your bathing suit, you know, you have to, you have to have most of your skin showing to get the vitamin D. Um, but you don't want to burn your skin, so that's why 30 minutes, is in, they've shown, is enough time to manufacture vitamin D, 30 minutes a day. After that, then you can cover up, you can put your, um, under, sit under your umbrella, put your sunscreen on, things like that. So, 
as far as this week's health tip goes, vitamin D is, um, again, shown to be a crucial supplement that's important and everybody needs to consider taking it. Um, I've advocated it, I'm a big advocate, advocate of it right now during the coronavirus pandemic and um, you know, I'm just an advocate of it in general because all the studies and research point to it being very beneficial. So that's it for my health tip of the week right now. Maybe what I'll do, since it is such a nice day and it is a new spring season of the year, 2021, um, we'll take a little tour of the yard and the garden again for your video pleasure, okay? So just hang on, take a look at the bay back there. And let's take a little bit of a walk. So you can see the back bay view here at Zimmyville. There's my boat sitting nice and calmly. Yesterday, the wind was just whipping yesterday. So here's my garden this year. We have some zucchini growing. Tomato plants are getting bigger. We did harvest a lot of broccoli. Um, I clip them down and now they're starting to regrow. More zucchini, there's a big thing of kale back there behind the palm tree and, and it's funny because I do a lot of composting um, I'm getting a lot of wild plants growing up from my compost so you'll see there's what I call wild tomato plants I didn't plant them they're just growing from seeds in the compost even this big I'm guessing it's either a zucchini or a, um, or a cantaloupe it looks more like a cantaloupe that's coming from uh, seeds from the compost. And the basil are just starting to kick in. So we don't have as many plants this year as last year because um, with the new house going up next to me, they're, um, they told me that my garden is on their property. So they have to move the fence in about a foot and a half and make the garden smaller. So I didn't overly plant there. So here's the backyard. Backyard's looking good. There's that spike ball. I'm hoping to play that this year now that my shoulder's feeling better. Let's go over here to this portion of the garden and see what's happening. The tiger lilies are not blooming yet, but they're getting ready to start their budding, so that's good. And these lilies just seem to propagate every year. They're just getting more and more in the garden. They just are spreading like crazy. And, and this thing right here is a weed. So I may just let that go and see what happens. It's damn big. I had to redo the pond this year. The, there was a leak in it so we had to take everything out and I put a, a new liner in and now it's doing really well and it explains like why last year the water kept disappearing on me <laughs> pool water is very chilly after the huge temperature drop we had this weekend got warm last week and then all of a sudden Friday and Saturday it's in the 60s so the water um, temperature dropped. I didn't plant a lot of marigolds in here this year because this plant comes back every year and it's getting bigger and bigger. One of my neighbors um, moved and before he moved he gave me his gong. It's big. Big and heavy. I don't have it hanging up but take it down last night because the wind was blowing and the neighbor was complaining. That's that one. Let's see if we can put this one up. We'll step back now. Yeah, that's a big gong. That's one of my neighbors down the way. That's his boat. That's that's a pretty big boat he has there, if you can see it. He's got 
double engines on the back. I repainted the picnic table uh, last year. It was sort of walnut, and now I did it bright yellow to make it look resorty. And then got the old lounge chairs. We're old and rusted out, so we got some new ones with colors to match. Got some new wind socks. That's the shark. That's the fish. And that's the pirate wind sock. Let's see what flags are flying today. Well, I know what flags are flying. Let you see what flags are flying. Oh, there's Clark, too. Where's Clark? Hey, Clark. What's up, buddy? You want to say hi? Say hi to everybody. How you doing, pal? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah? You stuck? You don't know what this is? So, let's see. Here's the flags flying. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> there we go. All right. We got Batman flying up there underneath the American flag. And that is the uh, pride flag, LGBT pride flag. We're flying that. It's pride month. So we want to support. So everybody that goes by can see that we're supporters. LGBT pride and Batman. Got to be a Batman supporter. And yesterday the Clark saw some ducks and he went running down the dock and I said, Clark, don't you dare, don't you dare. And damn it, he jumped right in. Jumped right into the bay and went after the ducks. But naturally, you can't catch the you know, I gotta catch the ducks. But ironically, Clark had, my kid, Finn, had just given Clark a bath. And then he dives in the bay and now he smells like the bay again. So it is a nice day today. This is a Sunday. And I went fishing yesterday, but it was so windy and so bad. Managed to catch one fluke, which was a fluke in that situation because there nobody was catching anything. And so today it's nice and calm and it's nice. So it looks like um, high tide is about 12 o'clock. So I'm probably going to head out for a couple hours and see what I can do. Now, last year we had an empty lot next to my house. And now I have a house next to my house. Neighbors still haven't moved in yet. I think next weekend is their move-in date. But we'll see how I get used to having the house next to me. You know, all those years without a house there. So here we are. All right, so what we're going to do now is call it a day. All right, and I'll go edit this video, and it'll be up tomorrow for you guys to watch in the office.